Good morning to Liverpool Football Club and all the Liverpool Football Club supporters up and down the land. Um, what I'm doing, I'm a, I'm a Scunthorpe United supporter. We play uh, in National League North. Uh, we have played as high as a championship uh, in the past, but over the last five years, we've had a few dodgy owners. Um, that have got the club into masses of debt. We have got the club on a better footing now. We've got some local people, some fantastic people. Uh, we've managed to get uh, the club registered as a community asset, thanks to a lot of hard work from people. But unfortunately, those those bad owners that we had in the past, in Dave Hilton and uh, the other guy that shall not be named, uh, who devastated our club uh, financially um, and it's been a long hard struggle for the last five years constant relegations we've now got a good team under Jimmy Dean that are doing well on on the pitch uh, but there's still a huge debt at the club uh, we're doing it the club are doing many things to try and rectify this situation get the debt out of the way the, the point I'm doing today is, this is a message to all football fans, but I'm, I'm pleading to Liverpool fans because I think the people of Liverpool, it's a working class city, we're a working class town. The people in Liverpool have a long history of fighting injustice and struggle etc. And are always up for a fight for what's right. And while all football fans have their clubs and they're passionate to their own club and we have banter among football fans, the vast majority of football supporters are at one and they don't want to see clubs go to the wall. Um, it, the football world out there, even people that are supporting premiership clubs can see that the money doesn't filter down the the football pyramid to the to the lower levels, even gra to grassroots football that should. Some of the football players in the Premiership, one week's wage that they get would put our club on a sound footing for for the rest of its life. This is the <clears throat> this is how easy it is. Now the club has a some part of United have got a, a club lottery going now. It's ten pound a month for a draw, and you can win up to two hundred and fifty pound uh, as a prize. But obviously, the more money that goes into the lottery, the better the prizes are. What I'm asking the Liverpool supporters to do, and any Premiership football club supporters and their clubs, how nice would it be for your club if you were seen to be doing the right thing? showing the FA the way out to help clubs that are struggling. Uh, and if every fan just had one go on our club lottery, say 10,000 fans uh, had a go on our club lottery, that would take a big chunk off our debt and gives you a chance of winning some money. It's not like you're just handing the 10 pound over. It's, it's, it's like having a little flutter, I would say, but you'd be helping a football club that really needs uh, that financial help. So that's what I'm asking and begging. Um, and I've got to say, um, I'm passionately a Scunthorpe fan. I have been since I was seven years old. But had I been born in Liverpool, can I just say, uh, I would have been a Liverpool fan uh, because I love um, what the club stands for and its success. And let's not forget Scunthorpe United soldier Kevin Keegan back in the 70s. He went on to help make Liverpool a great club, you know. It'd be nice to think that the Liverpool fans could say, oh, well, that's something Scunthorpe did for us. Let's let's have a £10 flutter on the, on the Scunthorpe United lottery. What harm could it do? It'd be fantastic. So please, Scum, uh, please all you Liverpool supporters out there, Please think of Scunthorpe United, go on to Scunthorpe United's website, have a look at the um, link to the club lottery and have a please have a £10 flutter on Scunthorpe United. You'll be doing a great help to a, a great little club that wants to get back to the Football League.
where it should be and hopefully playing you one day. Take care, everybody. Thank you.